वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 4.24 सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज गिवन दैट अ 60 न्यूटन इनटू मीटर कपल इज अप्लाइड टू स्टील बार एज शोन इन फिगर क्लियर सो इन पार्ट ए एज्यूमिंग दैट कपल इज अप्लाइड अबाउट जी एक्सिस एज शोन डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस एंड रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर ऑफ द बार एंड इन पार्ट बी सॉल्व पार्ट ए एज्यूमिंग दैट कपल इज अप्लाइड about y axis now the couple you will have to apply the couple about y axis use e is equal to 200 giga pascal so i have written the given uh, 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 given data that m is equal to 60 kN into meter and e is equal to 200 giga pascal which is 200 into 10 raised to power 9 so in part a we have been asked to find the maximum stress and radius of curvature for couple applied about z axis so you can see here that this is the z axis clear and couple is applied about z axis that is 60 newton into meter so let's move toward the first part and then we will discuss the second part as we know that maximum stress which is equal to sigma max maximum stress sigma max is equal to m into c divided by i so m is the maximum uh, m is the bending moment or applied moment c is distance from neutral axis to the top most where i is the moment of inertia so we have given this cross section uh, i will draw it so let draw the given cross section okay so let this is the given section and this is your uh, this is your y axis and this is your z axis so y axis and z axis this dimension is given as 12 mm while this dimension is given as 20 mm so we will first find out the moment of inertia about z axis so i will write moment as we know that moment of inertia i z r i about z axis is equal to i think there is some problem with this pen <coughs> so i is equal to b h cube over 12 b h cube over over 12 so we have b is equal to 12 and h is equal to 20 mm but these are in mm so we'll convert them into meter or you can just put b is 12 and h is 20 cube divided by 12 so it will be equal to 8 into 10 raised to power 3 mm power 4 so i in term of meter will be equal to 8 into 10 raised to power minus 9 meter power 4 so this is the value of i now we know that c will what will be the value of c so again this is 20 so c is distance from neutral axis to the top most layer so this is your c and this c will be equal to 10 mm so c is equal to 10 mm and in meter it is equal to 0.010 meter and uh, moment of moment applied moment is given so you can easily find the maximum stress so maximum stress is equal to m into c divided by i where m is equal to 60 newton into meter 60 newton into meter c is 0.010 divided by i is given as 8 into 10 raised to power minus 9 
सो वैन यू कैलकुलेट दिस सिगमा मैक्स और मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस कम्स आउट टू बी सेवेंटी फाइव इंटू टेन एस पावर सिक्स पासकल और सिंपली दिस मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी फाइव मेगा पासकल सो दिस इज द मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस नाउ विल मूव टू वर्ड आवर सेकेंड पार्ट दैट इज अबाउट रेडियस ऑफ कर्वीचर सो रेडियस ऑफ कर्वीचर नाउ वी नो दैट वन ओवर रो विच इज कर्वीचर एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू एम ओवर ई आई क्लियर सो यू हैव m value you have e you have i you can just put the value so m is 60 divided by e is 200 gigapascal so 200 into 10 to the power 9 and i is this 8 into 10 to the power minus 9 so from here you will calculate this uh, curvature which is 1 over rho comes out to be 37.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 per meter so if you want to convert into meters uh, into radius of curvature so radius of curvature will become equal to 1 over 37.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter and this row comes out to be 26.7 meter so this is our, our first part now we will move towards second part and in second part it has been asked to find the same things maximum stress and when and the radius of curvature when the applied couple is about y axis and same 60 newton into meter is applied so i will draw the cross section below so let if this is the cross section and this was your mm, this is your y axis and this is your z axis so this is y axis this is z axis and the uh, width was given as 12 mm width was 12 mm while height was 20 mm now if you take the couple about y axis so definitely you will calculate i about y axis and i about y axis y y i will write i y y and i y y will be equal to b h cube over 12 now for this y axis this y axis you have breadth is equal to 12 mm uh breadth is equal to uh sorry breadth is equal to 20 mm because this you are going to take the moment about y axis so this breadth is, will be equal to 20 mm so i will correct it breadth is equal to 20 mm and height will be equal to 12 mm because now the axis is this one so height will be 12 mm so when you put it so you will get i is equal to b 20 into h which is 12 cube divided by 12 and from here you will get this i y y moment of inertia about y axis comes out to be 2.88 into 10 to the power 3 mm power 4 or in term of meter this i y y comes out to be 2.88 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter 4 why we have find i y y because we know that maximum stress when the couple is applied about y axis will be equal to m into c divided by i y y now what is the c so c will be this distance from neutral axis to the outermost surface so this is the c i will write this c and this c will be equal to 12 by 2 which is 6 mm and in meter it will be equal to 
six meter and rest movement is given so now you can apply the uh, you can put the value so m is 60 c is 0 0.006 uh, divided by i y y is 2.88 into 10 to the power minus 9 so when you solve this you will get maximum stress when the moment is applied about y axis comes out to be uh, 12.125.0 1, into 10 to the power 6 pascal or simply that is max is equal to 125 mega pascal sorry now what is uh, radius what about radius of curvature so radius of curvature so we know that 1 over radius 1 over rho which is curvature is equal to m over ei so you have m which is 60 newton into meter e is 200 giga pascal so 200 into 10 to the power 9 multiply by i is i y y which is 2.8 Eight, eight. So I will write I Y Y 2.88 into 10 to the power minus 9. So from here you will get 1 over curvature will be equal to 104.17 into 10 to the power minus 3 per meter. And this curvature can radius of curvature can be obtained as if we take reciprocal. So 1 over 4.17 into 10 to the power minus 3 and it will be in meter so from here you will get this rose comes out to be 9.60 meter so this is the answer for part b i hope you have enjoyed this video again if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching